All right, so I'm Arne. I'm from the Netherlands and I'm 19 years old. Fantastic. And what was your life like before you joined Adonis School? So before Adonis School, I had already subscribed to Hamza's like philosophy of self-improvement for like a while, I'd say. I think for about a year, probably, actually. Um, my life before ever discovering Hamza, I think that's also important context to provide, was was really in like a, a dark place. You know, there was uh, COVID. I had a toxic relationship that was all the way in Greece. Uh, and I lost a bunch of weight and I had bad relations because of that relationship with my family. It was all just a mess. And then like April, two years ago, uh, you know, I found Hamza's channel. I started watching that and through, you know, watching that and the things he taught me, basically, at some point I decided, you know, I had had enough of that relationship. I broke that off. Then summer vacation came along, uni stopped. And through that period of time, I basically just focused on my fitness, my mental health and got all those things up again. And after the summer vacation, people told me this as well. I was a completely different person. Like people literally came back here at the place and they they looked through the, the window is what my housemate told me. And, you know, he was just like, what? Because I'd gained a lot of weight, like, you know, muscle yeah. over summer because both muscle memory and just working out six days a week for that summer. So, yeah, th that was just great. And then going from that year to when Hamza announced, first of all, Adonis Academy. So I waited on that a little bit. And I kind of regret that now because I would have probably wanted to, you know, hike that mountain with Hamza and stuff like that as well. But, uh, you know, then the price increased. And then when Adonis School came along, I was like, okay, I got to hop on this right now. Like there's no reason to wait because yeah. the reason I wanted to join any of those communities in the first place and why I have been joining communities in the past is because I just want to see how the top performers work. That's like my main inspiration. So I love the courses. I love the calls, everything like that. But my main inspiration for joining in the first place was seeing how Hamza works up close and like, what does he spend his time on? And I was expecting him to share more of that inside of the school. And that is exactly what he did. Fantastic. This is what I was just mentioning to you that it seems like you were already on the right track before you even joined Adonis School and your desire was to use that Adonis School and all the content inside to take it to the next level, like yes. become your role models that you follow, essentially. Yeah. Brilliant. It was exactly like a catalyst, actually. Yeah. That's how I really describe it. Fantastic. So then you joined Adonis School. What specifically did you find most useful when it comes to your personal development? So for instance, you mentioned some coaching calls, um, like I know Gary does sleep, I do testosterone, Leon does find your purpose and so on. Hamza does YouTube entrepreneurship. There's also courses, there's the community people post. Which one of those helped you when it comes to the non-business side of development that you've had? Mm -hmm. Okay, so when I joined very in the beginnings of Adonis School, Hamza was doing, I think, multiple calls a day at some point, and those were like coaching calls. And I think that's kind of what Leon is doing now as well. So I presume that would be the, the same thing. Mm -hmm. Um, it really helped being in one of these coaching calls and having someone who is further along in the journey, listen to you and then just talk some sense into you. Like, cause that's basically most of the time, all you need, like most of the time you already know what you want to do or what you need to be doing, yeah. unless you really have no idea in which case, you know, that also helped because I basically came on the call with Hamza then and I was like, okay, I know I want to do something like entrepreneurial, but I don't know what and et cetera. And he just asked a couple of really simple questions. And then you find out that the answer has been there all along. Yeah. And that's just something you really need sometimes. And that's something I feel, you know, was hard to find out here, like in university asking my friends, because they're all on the same level as I am asking my parents won't help either because, you know, they don't really do the same thing and they don't really have 
I don't know, the, the experience needed, I guess, in like figuring out what you actually want to do. Cause either they've done that a long time ago or they never really did it and yeah. still themselves don't know what they exactly want to do. So that was the most helpful part, like apart from business, just personal knowing what you want to do and have someone moves further along to help some sense into you. hundred percent. I think that's exactly what even the strongest man needs. We as humans, we're so afraid of change. Like I'm not a psychologist. My background is pharmaceuticals, but it doesn't take a genius to understand that as soon as you're put in a new environment or there's some kind of new stimuli, you feel scared, you feel fear. And sometimes all you need is for someone to tell you, it's okay, just take the plunge, just walk, you can do this. Like, why are you wasting time? And it literally just changed your life. Hamza did the same to me and it worked. And he's in the same to a lot of, a lot of guys. But it's interesting now because your development like with Leon's is even more meaningful. So now we'll talk about like your business side, entrepreneurial side. What happened when you joined Adonis School? Yeah, so when I joined Adonis School, I don't exactly know for what period of time it was before that actually happened. But at some point, uh, Hamza actually posted that he was searching for people to help him basically manage the school for students, success members. That's how he called it. And, you know, I had been on that call before with Hamza and, I, you know, he was basically like, OK, you want to do something fitness related and stuff like that. Uh, and I was working on that. But when I saw that, I was, you know, I was curious. So I was like, OK, let, let's check this out, because, you know, when I joined the school, I really liked what I saw. And I was like, OK, if I can like help make this like an even better thing or whatever, I would love that because I had thought about it in the past when Hamza with his YouTube channel before had already also launched like some sort of forum, like asking for if there were any people that wanted to work for him. But back then, you know, I knew I wanted to either maybe help him like do some like scientific research or something or something administrative, but I didn't really know what. But now that this came along, I was like, okay, this is exactly what I can like use my my skills for. So I read through the details of that form meticulously, like three, maybe four times before I even started working on it. And then what he said very, uh, what, what he really stressed on was that he wanted you to basically get into the role and act like you already had it for like 24 hours or something at least. Uh, and that's what I did. He posted it on a Friday, I think, and put the deadline on a Monday. And from Friday till Monday, I acted as if I was already a success member. I opened up a Notion document. Uh, I put my problem solving skills that I learned from UD to uh, the task and just made sure to think of like all the different parameters that could involve student success and what would make it better and what not. And just typed out a whole document. And then after that, on Monday, I presented that through a loom to Hamza, as well as another one explaining why I would be fit to do the job. And I think I even recorded a YouTube video with someone I knew from another online community uh, demoing a call that I would have with a student because uh, I really I wanted to impress him. Like that was my setup. I was like, I'm going to be the person that has done the most for this application. Yeah. Uh, and if there's someone who's done more than this, then, you know, add off to them. <laughs> but yeah, after sending that in, I I think it was Wednesday, uh, the day after where he sent me a DM, like, I really like, you know, what you sent and uh, with a Discord link to, to join the team. Fantastic. And now you're part of the student success team. So just, just describe us briefly the type of work you do in the school. So in the school, I make sure that every member knows exactly how they can use Adonis School to the best of their ability to make sure that they can reach their goals. And that means like the specific tasks are, you know, following up with people on DMs, making sure that they are, you know, doing the things that they're supposed to be doing. So for example, I see a lot of guys just, you know, coming on the onboarding calls because that's something we also do you know, uh, introducing them to the community, having an elaborate presentation of what is in the community, what they can use for what, etc. 
uh, and then after when I follow up with them, I always get very positive responses like, oh, thank you for following up with me or things like, you know, that really helped or and I just love to see it like it doesn't even feel like a job at all because it's just it's helping out people. And that is just the most like fulfilling thing I feel like you could be doing as like work and to see that like so directly because, you know, you could be doing some other job like maybe let's say you're in a factory working creating soaps then people obviously like the soaps or whatever but you never like get that input back you never know that what you're doing is like makes a difference and now you can see the difference like right in front of your eyes and that's that's just amazing you can literally see it on the calls because for guys watching this they may not be aware so just to make sure that we are like giving every new member like the best welcome possible. We always record our calls and share best practices and I review them. And it's like, you can see them join and they're a little bit nervous, a little bit shy, which is understandable because it's a massive school. Hamza's in it himself. Hamza's an active member. Imagine going to a room and Hamza's there. You would feel a little bit intimidated, like out of place. But you and Leon are so good at reassuring that person that you belong here like it's okay it's okay to be a little bit nervous because we're going to show you exactly how you can use the school to fix every single one of your problems especially when it comes to money especially when it comes to like your mindset your productivity which is incredible the for their mindset at the start of the call and when they finish and i want to come on one thing because credit to where credit's due you're an absolute genius like you have made my life as the Adonis school manager so much easy because of your ability to understand computer systems with your ability to understand automations. Like I was just talking to you right now, how you've created me a one hour lecture on how to use a platform that can help us with automation. And you did it just because I asked you to like, there is no bigger thanks I can give to you than this. And I find that so wholesome because in the end it will benefit our members it'll make their onboarding even more smoother i know the crm which for anyone doesn't know is like how we keep track of new members make sure that they're looked after make sure that they're getting the help and support they need like you pretty much designed it you pretty much managed it for a long time and it's so and it's basically the foundation of all the work we do so like thank you so much from myself i've got one more question for you because you're now at the stage where it seems like you're doing really well. Have you thought about where you want to be in the next six months? Because you've only been in the school for a couple of months now. You were actually one of the first people that joined, like one of the early people. Yeah. What about the next six months? Do you have any plans on like taking your development to the next level? And how, how will you use the school to help you do that? Oh, definitely. So for me, I, you know, I still want like my long-term goal is still to build a fitness brand and to like help people in that way as well. Because basically what I've just found, like, like I explained to you just now, like I love helping out the guys in Adonis school. And in the same way, you know, I really love fitness and nutrition and researching all of these things. So teaching that to someone and actually helping them like achieve the physique that they'd want is like, you know, I, I think I would take a lot of fulfillment out of that job as well. And, you know, that's what I'm going to be working on for, I think, the foreseeable future. I actually took action on that, like, yesterday and went ahead and created all the things and whatever. And, um, yeah, that's what I'm really going to be working on. And the way I'm going to be using Adonis School to to do that is, well, obviously, I'm going to need to be creating content. And I think, you know, from having watched Hamza for a while now, like, he's been improving on creating content so well like it's just been getting better and better and better and i don't think there are much better places if any to go than in a dollar school to learn from him and how to make content especially youtube yeah. uh, so that's definitely what i'm going to be using and apart from that you know all of the sleep the mindset whatever because that's all important as well don't forget testosterone yeah don't forget <laughs> exactly. if you have none of those things that it's like it's like you have a lamborghini you know you have a plan and you have discipline but you don't have any energy yeah like 
no fuel. You have a Lamborghini without gas. Yeah. It, it won't drive. It won't do it. So, you know, th that's basically the way I'm going to be using it. And I'm really excited. 100%. I'm just going to end on the first time that I ever spoke to you. So I joined. I've only been in the school, like, you know, as the, as the operations manager for less than a month. And Victor, who's whoever, for the guys that don't know, he's an absolute genius. Like he's he's so talented when it comes to business. He was the one that like took me under his wing and showed me everything. And he said that I really want you to speak to one of our student success members, team members, Arnie. You know, he's designed this spreadsheet. He's done this. So I was okay. I was like, he must be like some kind of a geek. You know, pointy, pointy nose, big glasses, hunchback. So I go on a call and then you pop up. I fucking six foot three, <laughs> ripped physique. You look like you look like the Adonis character just without the beard. I'm like, who, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> and I remember on that call, like I said to you, bro, you look like an absolute Chad. And I just knew that it would be so fun working with you and Leon, and it has been. I think yeah. it was yourself and Leon on that call where you guys said, it's not like work. It's like it's like just having having a project with friends and you just yeah. want to like think of new ways of doing things and you want to share what works well and you want to seek advice on what didn't work well because in the in the end goal it like helps you in your own development and i love that mindset because there's nothing like the type of work that i've ever done every work that i've ever been in you know employment it's always targets it's always why haven't you done this whereas we our goal is just giving the members the, the best platform that they can have. And it's so fun to do it with you guys. So it's just a little story because the first time I met you, I couldn't have pictured you any different. As I, I couldn't have pictured you more differently is what I'm saying. So that's a compliment to you, bro, like 100%. <laughs> Thank you, man. Well, that's really interesting that you say that. I wouldn't have thought of that myself, that you would, that you would have thought that. But now that you explain it to me, I do yeah. understand. <laughs> 100%. Thank you so much for your time. This has been an amazing call. And I think it's been an absolute privilege working with you, like you and Leon, especially. You guys are absolutely fantastic. And I think anyone watching this, when they do decide to join the school and they get to speak to you guys, they will realize just how meaningful that interaction is. You're like a big brother to them, making them feel welcomed, cared for, that they actually belong somewhere. And that's sometimes all a young man needs to get started on the journey to to greatness. So thank you so much for your time, Arnie.